What price are we willing to pay for progress? The quest for technological supremacy and the choices made at the crossroads of science and morality. This is Operation Paperclip. As World War II came to an end, both the United States and the Soviet Union sought to gain a technological edge in the emerging Cold War. As Allied forces advanced through Germany in late April 1945, towards the end of World War II, they began to discover and encounter large numbers of German scientists and engineers. T-Force, a special military of joint U.S. and British Army, was tasked with accessing German research and technology to prevent it from falling into the hands of the Soviet Union. The Office of Strategic Services, and later the Central Intelligence Agency, recognized the value of German scientists and engineers, particularly those involved in rocket technology. In 1945, the U.S. military initiated Project Overcast to identify and bring German scientists and engineers to the United States. Subsequently, the name Overcast was later changed to Operation Paperclip. In March 1945, at Bonn University, a Polish laboratory technician found pieces of the Ozenberg list stuffed in a toilet. After its discovery, the list was transmitted to MI6, the British intelligence agency, which, in turn, shared the information with US intelligence. Sneak? No, I, I was invited. I was brought here to, to help your science programs by the CIA. U.S. Army Major Robert B. Staver used the Ozenberg List to gather top German scientists for the purpose of capturing and interrogation. Estimates suggest that around 1,600 German scientists, engineers, and technicians were initially brought to the United States for government employment. One of the prominent scientists on the Major Staver's List was Wernher von Braun. Von Braun was a key figure in Nazi Germany's rocket program and played a central role in the development of the V-2 rocket, the world's first long-range guided ballistic missile, at the German Army Research Center Peenemünde. While Von Braun himself was not directly involved in war crimes. Thousands of prisoners, mainly from the Mittelbadora concentration camp, were subjected to inhumane conditions and exploitation, as they were forced to work on the production of V-2 rockets. It is estimated more than 12,000 prisoners died building V-2 rockets. The V-2 attacks began in September 1944 and continued until March 1945. These rockets, launched by Nazi Germany, targeted cities in Allied countries and London was one of the major cities subjected to these attacks. This would result in another 9,000 casualties. You built the German V-2 rocket that killed thousands of innocent Londoners. Wernher von Braun became a naturalized U.S. citizen in 1955. Arthur Rudolph was another German rocket engineer who played a significant role in the development of the V-2 rocket. Rudolph worked under Wernher von Braun at the Piedmont Army Research Center, where the V-2 rocket was developed. He too was brought to the United States to contribute to American rocket and missile development. However, in 1984, facing allegations of his involvement in war crimes and the use of forced labor during the V-2 rocket production, Rudolph chose to leave the United States and renounce his citizenship. He returned to Germany, where he died on January 1, 1996. Dr. Hubertus Streghold, often referred to as the father of space medicine, had been a prominent figure in Nazi Germany's aviation and aerospace medicine research. His experiments involved subjecting 300 inmates to extreme cold conditions in the so-called freezing experiment to replicate the situations that pilots might encounter when required to eject into a freezing ocean. Approximately, 360 to 400 such experiments were conducted on 280 to 300 victims at Dachau concentration camp during World War II. Despite his association with the Nazi regime, Streghold was brought to the United States in 1947 under Operation Paperclip. Von Braun played a pivotal role in the development of the Redstone rocket, which became the first U.S. ballistic missile. It was also the launch vehicle for the first two American astronauts, Alan Shepard and Gus Grissom, in the Mercury program. Under von Braun's leadership, the Jupiter-C rocket was developed. 
It was used to launch the first successful American satellite, Explorer 1, into orbit on January 31, 1958. Von Braun and his team were instrumental in developing That's the Saturn V rocket, the most powerful rocket ever built. The Saturn V launched the historic Apollo 11 mission on July 16, 1969. However, he was investigated by the FBI in 1961 regarding his past involvement with the Nazi Party and the SS.